Now, speaking of weapons, and you heard him talking about breaking bows, and this is just kind of giving you some insight on what they use for weapons. The arrow was the preferred weapon when on a tribal hunt in Buffalo Herd or when a large party were joined in pursuit. Each rider shot arrow after arrow into whatever animal was convenient to him during the tumult of the running chase. When it ended, he had one or two more arrows in various dead buffalo scattered over the area by the flight of the herd. Every man kept his own arrows and always marked in some peculiar manner near whereby they could be identified. So when the field was reviewed after the termination of the killing, he could find out which buffalo he had killed or had helped to kill. It could be learned in such instance which arrow was the fatal one and which were of little or no importance. Thus, the claims to the skin and meat could be settled. In case of a disagreement, the chiefs decided the question. Gun bullets could not be distinguished from one another, so the guns were used only when one man was hunting alone or when a small party of special friends hunted together. The guns also had to have powder and lead and caps, which we did not always have on hand. We could make arrows, or we often recovered them from the dead animals. So that's just imagine you go to these big herd of buffaloes, a bunch of a bunch of Indians go in there, they're shooting them with all these, they just shoot every animal you see, you try and shoot it. Yep. And then eventually you find out which ones are dead, you check, hey, that, that arrow's mine, yeah. got him in the heart, I get some meat <laughs> there. Yeah, that's cool. So other people like me and you and, you know, you know, 40 other guys mm-hmm. were shooting, just shooting 10 arrows in there. Eight different guys shot this one. We all get it. Yep, right. Yep. And then they can just they can tell, oh, that one hit the heart. Yep. So you're the main guy, you know, dang, you get the skin. Yep. OK, other weapons. Spears were used by the Cheyennes. The long and slender points might be of metal or they might be of stone or bone. Great care was taken in its coloring and general design. The Sioux had knife sticks for fighting. These had long shafts, the same as a spear, but instead of the attach point at the end, there were three blades at the shaft side. So that's kind of a unique looking weapon. Yeah. It kind of sounds Mad Max-ish. Yeah. You know, a long spear with three knives sticking on it. Yeah, Hawaiians kind of had that too. Well, a little different. They put the shark... The shark uh, teeth, so it's like a yeah, it's it's pretty dope. Actually, yeah, you don't want to get hit with the shark teeth. No, no, 